Once the tide comes in, I can't use this beach. I can't have this open air. I have to go back into the dungeon. It's so claustrophobic inside there. That flipping jungle, it's mentally eating my brain. I knew that coming here and doing this, my mind would be the my biggest enemy. And let me tell you, brother, it is. Part of that could be dehydration. Got this semi-fresh, brackish, hopefully fresh water. And I think I found a way to filtrate it here in the without fire. It sure cleans it up nicely. I've been having a lot of cramps, stomach cramps. It's just, just this gut wrenching, like tensioning of my stomach muscles. Also, I've seen these flashing lights. It's freaky. You know, makes me wonder if I'm ingesting uh, seawater. If I'm drinking salt water, I'm going to go insane. Anyway, uh, I'm going to crawl back into this sleeping bag and see if I don't feel a little bit better. So uh, um, I had a pretty horrible night. I didn't sleep any until a little bit this morning. I've been having a lot of shakes. That's not a good sign. I'm concerned about this quality of this water, this fresh water source. I don't know what else it could be. I'm looking at it right now, and the water coming out of here is brackish. It's actually salt water mixed with fresh water. I can see the, the tint. I've been drinking water out of a creek with a dead fish rotting on the side of the bank. This is a nausea I have never felt before. This is one big sandwich, and I'm the only one here to take a bite. <laughs> oh, there it almost came. I called for a uh, medic. This journey may be coming to an end. There is no way that even something as beautiful as this is worth dying for. 